Ben Shapiro is one of the most famous Jews today. Listen to what he says about Jesus. It reveals what he and many other Jews gets wrong. When I read the New Testament myself, and I obviously I'm not a believer in the divinity of Jesus. But when I see what Jesus actually has to say about the Old Testament, it seems to me very similar to the stuff that Zechariah is saying or that Jeremiah is saying. Did you catch it? Ben says things Jesus said are in the Torah, the Old Testament. He agrees Christians are not inventing new things. He can see that the New Testament complements the Torah in these ways. But he mentioned something all Jews who believe like Ben Shapiro get wrong. Let me play it again, but only one specific part. Listen. I obviously am not a believer in the divinity of Jesus. The thing Jews like Ben Shapiro won't accept is that God came to earth as a man. And that was Jesus in the first century, around 33 AD. Jews like Ben can see the message of the New Testament in the Old Testament, but won't see God coming to earth as man in the Old Testament when it's clear. So you will see a passage in the Old Testament, which is clear. God says he's coming. The most famous rabbis admit God is speaking in this passage too, and there's a big reason this is about Jesus. So first, let me break down this passage, then share what some famous rabbis say about it, and then I'll show you why this passage is about Jesus. In the last book of the prophets, you have Malachi. Malachi wrote about 450 years before Jesus. They had rebuilt the temple again. God himself promised, through another prophet, Haggai, something special. God said the glory of this second temple will be greater than the first temple. Keep this in mind for later. This is important when we get to Malachi because what God says about the temple in Malachi is special. It's the kind of thing that would make the glory of the second temple greater than the first. Like Hebrew scholar Dr. Brown says, the first temple had the Ark of the Covenant, the Shekinah, God's presence, and fire falling from heaven. He then asks a question, if these were all missing in the second temple, how was the second temple greater in glory than the first? Malachi gives us a big reason. This is not the only passage in the Old Testament that tells us God would come to earth. But let's look at Malachi chapter 3 verse 1. It says, Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Even the messenger of the covenant whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, says the Lord of hosts. Let's look at six points in this verse tells us. One, when you read the verse, it starts by saying, behold, you need to pay attention. But to what? God says he will send. This is important because it's not a man sending. This is not a prophet sending somebody, but the Lord is sending someone. This is clear. It is the Lord's plan for this to happen. Then the Lord tells you who he is sending. This adds to the previous point that it's God's plan. This is why it should not surprise you. God calls the person my messenger. If this is God's plan, anyone sent would be God's messenger. But what is God sending a messenger to do? God says his messenger will prepare the way before him. I need you to catch this. God's plan is to send his messenger to prepare the way for him to come. This is why it's strange Ben sees Jesus' teaching on other things in the Old Testament, but not God coming in the flesh. This verse in Malachi matches another one 300 years earlier by Isaiah. Isaiah said the exact same thing. Isaiah said the Lord was coming after a messenger and it's clear in Malachi God is speaking but God makes it clearer as he says next. And the Lord whom ye seek. This part is special for two reasons. First it says the Lord. This is Ha Adon in Hebrew. This means this can only speak of God because every other time Ha Adon gets used in the Old Testament it's talking about God. Second it's the Lord whom the people were looking for. Who is the God the people were looking for? There was only one answer, God. This lines up exactly with Isaiah from 300 years earlier. But in that passage, Isaiah left one thing out, which is only seen in Malachi. This is why, as you keep reading, it gets worse for Jews like Ben, who continue to reject this clear teaching. God says he is sending a messenger. This messenger will prepare people before he shows up. This is about Ha Adon, the Lord of the Old Testament, who the people are looking for, and he will come to his temple. Whose temple did he say? His temple. God says he is coming to his temple after his messenger prepares the way for him. It's funny reading the 2023 Jewish Publication Society translation. It says he shall come to the temple. 
But the Hebrew says his temple, saying his temple makes it clearer. This is one of the reasons they are trying to blur the clear passage. I'm more convinced by looking at previous JPS editions going back to 1917. And this passage in previous versions, it's translated his temple. They know what it says, but are changing it as time goes on. With this clear passage, why are Jews like Ben not seeing all Jesus' message in the Old Testament? This is an example showing Christians did not invent anything. We take the Bible seriously. Obviously, if in Malachi God says he is coming, this raises a question. The question is, when did God come to his temple after a messenger? Now, before I deal with that, the sixth point from this passage in Malachi is that God is speaking. The verse ends by saying, the Lord of armies says this. So when Christians say Jesus is God in the flesh, it's passages like this which tell us God was coming clearly. Now, I mentioned rabbis before. Rabbi Shlomo Yitzhaki, known today as Rashi, is the biggest. It's not rare for Jews to get raised with the Torah with Rashi's notes. Rashi says this verse in Malachi is about the God of justice. Rabbi David Kimchi, known as Radak, says this is about the Messiah. The point is, this passage is clear. Malachi says God is coming to his temple. Jesus is God in the flesh who comes to his temple. And this is where I need you to remember what I said to you about Haggai the prophet. God said this second temple would be greater than the first. The way it is greater is because God himself came to it like God says he would in Malachi. This is important because Jesus not only came to the temple, not only said that this passage in Malachi was about him, but Jesus also predicted the second temple would get destroyed. And he was right. The temple got destroyed 40 years after Jesus died and rose again. This means God had to make this temple greater and it must come before it got destroyed in 70 AD. What happened before 70 AD? Jesus said he's the Messiah, said he's God in the flesh and came to his temple. This made the glory of that temple greater than the first, like Malachi said. Malachi is clear and the Jews have a problem. It's not because they don't like what it says. It's not because they don't accept what it says. It is hard when Jews got persecuted by Christians in history. I get that. But God is the God of truth. That's all that matters. Facts don't care about your feelings. So Ben Shapiro can see the link between Jesus and the Old Testament. And God appearing as a man is clear to see too. This passage in Malachi does speak about a messenger coming before God. And this famous Jewish rabbi believes the Gospels can't agree who that is. He's wrong though, and you see how in this video. God bless.